Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the HP Spectre X360 13T. Now this is the Tiger Lake refresh. This just arrived from HP for review purposes. You can see a quick look here of the build you're about to see unboxed. We've got Intel's i7. Again, this is the 11th gen Tiger Lake 1165 G7 processor, a half terabyte uh, Intel SSD. We've got 16 gigs of RAM. Of course, no optical drive, Windows 10, a 13.3 inch 4K OLED display, 400 nits of brightness, uh, Bang & Olufsen sound that I'm hoping is better than the previous uh, generation, which is my daily driver right now. For those of you that follow my channel, you already know that I love the Ice Lake 13T. So, of course, Tiger Lake should offer us a decent uh, improvement, to say the least, in terms of capability, and then a 60 watt hour four cell battery. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box, see what it actually looks like. Uh, I mean, I'm expecting pretty much a one for one. Really, it's what's about has changed, what has changed under the hood, um, not anywhere else, because after all, as I've mentioned, this product is just a refresh, no body design here. So while I hope that we see an improvement uh, in the audio department, because that was one area that I would have liked to have seen this machine excel, I'm not expecting that to be the case. Now, just like with last gen, first thing out of the box is the included case for the machine. And then we have the actual real packaging on the inside. Let me go ahead and get this box out of the way. Um, I will be directly comparing this to the Ice Lake 13T. For those of you that are curious in terms of overall performance difference, we will find out. I can promise you that. Now, in terms of expectations, uh, essentially what I think we're going to see here is a decent uh, performance increase in terms of uh, the CPU as well as the integrated graphics because that's really what Tiger Lake has to offer. Uh, substantial on the graphics side in terms of the integrated. I mean, Basically, you know, Ice Lake set a standard and now Tiger Lake has thrown it all out of whack. And that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. Um, it basically means that you can actually game um, in, generally speaking, I would say, I mean, obviously not with the 4K display here, but in 1080p, the experience I've had so far with Intel's uh, Iris XE integrated graphics has been pretty impressive. In fact, the best performance from any integrated solution in history. So the fact that we've got it now in what was already my favorite uh, Ultrabook on the market is only going to make things even better. So let's go ahead and get this thing out. And there it is. Looks just like what I already own and use on a daily basis, but of course has the benefit of Ice Lake. So let's get this paperwork out of the way, some instructions, see what else is in the box although I'm not expecting anything other than the charging brick and pen. So 65 watt charger, just like the previous generation. No surprise there, really simple. Uh, love anything that uses the 65 watt chargers. And then we've got the pen. Now, supposedly the pen has been refreshed. So this is not the same pen that I'm accustomed to. This is the Tilt 2.0, to my knowledge, now a pen tip just dropped out at the same time, two of them. Those were not pocketed into anything, so be aware of that. Those are two individual tips that jumped out. And then looks like there's some paperwork underneath. I'm not gonna be too concerned with that at the moment. Uh, the pen is pretty different. I will tell you that right now. I don't have, do I have my pen here? I do, so I'll be able to show you. Uh, the Tilt pen was an optional uh, pen. The included pen from last generation look like this. So pretty big difference in terms of design. No uh, way to latch it onto anything. The buttons have changed. It is very different. I'll say that. No question about it. Very different. And then the actual tilt pen, which I paid additional money for, and I believe this is being called the Tilt 2.0, is this. Now, um, the original pen that was included ran off of uh, batteries. The tilt uh, did not. The tilt was chargeable via USB. I'm looking to see, I mean, obviously the instructions will tell me this, if there is a way to open this. I don't see one, but I'll find out through the course. Uh, looks like I just figured it out. There it is. So there is a Type-C port there for charging. Pretty slick. I like the way that pockets over it. So cool looking pen. No question about that. Let's get the box out of the way. Nothing else to see here. 
and let's see the actual machine itself. Now, remember, uh, in my opinion, last year's Ice Lake version of this was pretty much as good as it could get. That's why I purchased it. Um, I didn't really see any products that directly could compete with it. And, you know, outside of the Lenovo uh, 9i 14 inch, and last year it was the C940, I still don't think there really are going to be any options. And that depends on what you're looking for. Another thing I'm hoping to see improved on this machine is the webcam. Now, I don't expect that, but if it is improved, kudos to HP. I mean, what they've done here with creating such a small form factor, such a modern design, nearly bezel free, is already very impressive. Now, I, um, when HP asked me which model I wanted, I went for um, a few different colors because we're going to be going through quite a few Tiger Lake machines. Uh, this is the natural silver, of course, for those of you who didn't gather that already. Backlit keyboard, in my opinion, one of the best in the business. You have an IR Windows Hello compatible camera right at the top. Again, I hope it's improved. I'm not expecting an improvement because manufacturers like Lenovo still don't even offer a Windows Hello compatible camera. While this boots up, trackpad looks the same, fingerprint scanner, uh, again, in my opinion, one of the best keyboards out there. Uh, we do have bumpers for when you use this uh, in other modes, because again, it is a two-in-one, don't forget, as I say hello on camera, what's up? Uh, so when you do play the, place this down on a table, you don't have to worry about the keys or the deck in general getting scratched up. Quick look at the side, uh, because we do have some changes here. Uh, Kill switch is still there for the camera, which is another thing I love about the HP machines. We still have a micro SD card slot. HP, please don't make that go away. Uh, two Thunderbolt 4 ports. That's also how you're going to charge the machine. And I would silence Cortana, but I'm busy showing you the build. So let's, let's stick with that. Or I'll just close it. We'll see if it actually stops talking. Nope, it doesn't. So we've got ventilation all along the back. The power button on the left. Uh, wow, she's really not stopping. <laughs> Hold on. Come on, you. Be quiet. That's it. So, back to where I was. Power button on the left corner. Uh, that is when you're facing the machine. A headphone microphone combo jack. And then a type A USB port right there. And that rounds out everything on this machine. Uh, a little under three pounds, but for me, more important than its actual weight is the form factor. This can fit in uh, what is traditionally, you know, a space reserved for a tablet. And to just give you perspective on that, I have uh, my Tab S7 Plus here, which has a 12.4 inch display. And as soon as I put that on there, you can see they are almost the same size. And I will be doing a comparison of these two machines. I know that's something a lot of people have been interested in. Uh, both have pen input, both are incredibly lightweight. Of course, one is a real computer, the other is a tablet. Uh, but in terms of processing performance, at least when it came to Ice Lake, uh, the tablet was really close. And maybe I'll end up doing a comparison specifically with Ice Lake rather than Tiger Lake, because I know Tiger Lake is going to most likely rip it apart. Now, I don't know if they've created, well, it looks like, magnetically speaking, um, this might be able to stick to parts. I mean, that's why I figured they made this flat finish on the pen, but I'm not really positive. So we're going to find out uh, as I play with it. But again, I'm expecting good things. Now, things you should know. Um, I will be including a link, as I stated, in the description for this specific build. Uh, but be aware, RAM, I believe, is still soldered, so you're not going to be able to upgrade that once you, uh, you know, make your purchase. So be comfortable with the amount of RAM that you select. Be aware that, you know, you need to get the headroom that you literally need. Uh, beyond that, I recommend going with the AMOLED display, but of course, not everyone prefers it. Um, some AMOLEDs are susceptible to burn-in. I have not seen any with my 13T that I've had now for roughly one year. Uh, or it is a little over a year, so no burn in. But of course, I've had LG TVs, OLEDs, that have burned in. Um, so be aware of that. But in, when it comes to a bright and vivid display that is color accurate, you're just not going to beat uh, the AMOLED that HP uses here, which I believe is still a Samsung panel. So be aware of that. But that's pretty much it. Again, I'm going to get this thing up and running. I'm going to start to put it through its paces. We're going to see how it performs uh, compared to the previous gen. But in terms of build quality, it's another thing I, I wanted to point out. Nothing out of the box here. Uh, suspect, you know, with my 
previous gen Spectre, uh, the Ice Lake version, those of you that followed my coverage, I did have build quality issues out of the box. Um, this seems to be completely sound, uh, so noteworthy. Uh, be aware of that. Um, no, you know, uh, clicking. I had multiple issues actually with the Spectre, believe it or not. Um, didn't mean to connect to that or attempt to, but everything feels good here. The touchpad is not popping around. Uh, everything, you know, the deck is solid. Those were the issues that I had and that I had to go through um, swapping units and then eventually HP made it right. Um, here, I'm not seeing any issues, so that was just a one-off. I just, you know, just got very lucky with the, and by that I'm being sarcastic, with the Ice Lake build. So there you have it, Tiger Lake. Let's see if it can grab onto that. It looks like it can, but the question is, would it, ooh, all right. So we have a place it will actually stay, and um, it fits in the hinge, so that's, that's pretty cool. We'll see how it performs. I will have an update for you as soon as I can for all of you. Any questions or comments, again, about the HP Spectre X360 13T Ice, or excuse me, Tiger Lake 11th Gen Intel Tiger Lake Refresh, please feel free to post them, hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.